What is up, YouTube? Tesla Monster here bringing my Wi Fi back. Ask a man who wanted a follower of mine on Twitch, and we are using our Mega Man Chain team once again because, goddamn, Mega Man Chain is an absolute beast. My point is bringing his Mega Altaria team. Let's sports. Rotom Wash, Conqueror, Heatran, Bishop, Lander C, and Mega Altaria, of course. We have Rotom Wash, Lander C, Heatran, Scizor, Clefable, and Mega Man Chain. And like our Belgian Stephen Henry, Scissor won't be able to do an effective job blowing away the rocks because he trim will most likely outspeed it and kill level plume. But nonetheless, we're gonna see what we can do against this team. This team is jam-packed with threats such as Mega Altar and Big Shark, which is very threatening. Pretty much nothing on my team can really deal with the Big Shark. I really need to find a way to burn the Big Shark or just keep something at full health to, to take a hit for a minute. Um, pretty much Sucker Punch and Big Shark will hit Mega Man Shad neutral and because Mega Man Chain isn't really that bulky, and Bishop has insane attack power. I think that at half health, Sucker Punch will definitely one shot this Mega Man Chain. So, if I want to use Mega Man Chain against Bishop, I have to make sure that, well, Mega Man Chain is at full health and doesn't miss the HJK, aka High Jump Kick. So, with that in mind, guys, let's see how we can fare in this battle. We are both going to lead off with our Rotom Watches. I'm going to go for a Volt Switch because I don't want to go for Will O Wisp. In case he switches in the Conquer America, because that would be really bad to activate Gut. So I do about 15 to 20 percent to his Rotom Wash. Going to go into Clefable, and sure enough, he goes for the Will of West himself, and it burns like Clefable. Now this Clefable is not is not Magic Art, so obviously it's going to take some burn damage. But hey, at least Rotom Wash can't do too much to it. He's going to go for a Volt Switch and switch in his Heatran, hoping for potentially a Moon Blast. But I do get the Heal Bell off, so the burn is cleared away. Now he just can definitely set stealth rocks on me, and that's not what I want to see happen. I do make a very risky play here. I do go into Medicham in case he goes for rocks and hoping that this doesn't go for Lava Plume or something else. And sure enough, he goes to Stealth Rocks. So fortunately that risk paid off. It was really too early in the game to make that risk, but I had to. He goes to the Rotom Wash. I'm gonna go for the Mega Evolution, going for Ice Punch, predicting either an Altaria or a Landorus switch in, but I was wrong. However, Rotom Wash is at the um, range where a high jump people will take him out. And it does. Knocks out Rotom Wash. And there it goes. That is the power of Mega Medicine, everyone. Mega Medicine is just super powerful. He goes into Altaria. I don't know if I can take him out with Ice Punch at this range, so I'm just going to go into Club Fable here. He's going to go right for the Mega Evolution and sadly go for that return, and that will definitely, definitely, definitely knock out my Club Fable. No doubt about it. Because again, this Cliff Fable is not physically defensive, it is specially defensive. Gonna go into Scizor here. Um, I figure he'll switch into Heatran or Landorus, because he does not want to risk losing his Mega Altaria so early in the match. He does just that, so I went for a U turn, and I do get momentum in the battle, so awesome for me. Gonna switch out into Remove Genius the Landorus. I'm gonna go for a U turn here. He's gonna go for a U turn as well, which shows me that he is Scarf. Unfortunately, I go second, so I get momentum in the match. So, momentum is really in my favor this early on. Anyways, out goes Conqueror, and well, in comes Conqueror rather. Out goes Landorus T, and in comes Mega Medicine here. I'm gonna go for a Zen Headbutt. It misses. He goes for a Drain Punch and gets some HP back. I uh, got a level when Zen Headbutt misses. So you know what? I'm thinking. You know what? Now he sees the Zen Headbutt coming. He's going to Bishrock, so I'll go for a High Jump Kick. No, he goes for the Landorus T instead, but either way, this time High Jump Kick hits and does some good damage to Landorus T, but not too much due to the intimate. Mega Man Chan gets withdrawn, in comes Landorus T. He's going to go for a U-turn, now he gets the momentum in the battle, so he gets to pick something to come out that can fare well against Landorus T. Not really good for me in this case. Out comes Kunkel there. I'm going to go for an Earthquake here to potentially stack off the Landorus T, but he goes for Drain Punch instead. Predicting a switch maybe, or maybe he doesn't have Ice Punch, I don't know. But either way, Earthquake, again, this time he switches it into Lander C, and now I'm just going to let my Lander C faint. Because I want momentum, I want, I want a switch initiative, man. He goes to the knockoff, goodbye Lander C, see you later. He goes to Zorak to Scizor. I'm going to take this opportunity to get rid of the rocks in Defog. He's going to go for a knockoff, knocks off my leftovers, sadly. And I'm going to go for a Roost here as he switches Landorus T out into Heatran. And I do get all my HP back. I want to say this time I sack off my Scizor. Now, it could have been a dumb move because I don't have a 
Rapster or another Defogger, but I got I need to get Switch Initiative in this battle so he so he can stay on top of things. Out comes Metacham. He's gonna go for the high jump kick here. He's gonna switch his Heatran out. He is gonna go into a Landorus key, and it's almost gonna knock him out. It's not for that intimidate. Damn, so close. I'm gonna switch Metachain out. I'm gonna go into Got Silk the Realm Watch because he's gonna go for Earthquake undoubtedly. And sure enough, I was right. But he switches out now. He goes in Clonglair, hoping for a Will O Wisp potentially. I go for the Volt Switch because, of course, if you're a Scarf Landorus and you're locked into Earthquake, you can't do Squat the Realm Watch. Out comes Metachain back right here. I'm gonna go for the Fake Out, and then I'm gonna go for the Ice Punch because I know at this range, Ice Punch will take him out. And he goes for the Mock Punch to get some final damage off, so. Ice Punch on Conqueror knocks it out. Next up comes Landers T. Gonna switch Rotom, not Rotom, but Mega Man Chain out for Rotom Watch in case he goes for yet another Earthquake. But he goes for a U turn. He gets Switch Initiative here, so that's awesome, I guess. Like, out goes Landers T. In comes Heatran. He's gonna go for a Toxic to try to poison my Rotom Watch. I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump here to get as much damage done as possible. Rotom avoids the Toxic, fortunately. And that will do about 55% to Heatran. Here we go for another Hydro Pump. He goes for a Lava Flow, maybe expecting a switch into Medichan or something. But he is wrong on that. So Hydro Pump will knock out the Heatran. Unfortunately, does not get Rock Saw. Next out comes his... Lander's T. I'm going to basically Willow us on Lander's T. Basically, the reason why I didn't go for Hydro Pump is because either way... Will O Wisp would take it out because, well, Landers T is faster than Rotom Watch. There goes Landers T, knocked out. See you later, have a fantastic time. And out comes his Altaria. Now, some Altarias are built as bulky, others are speed invested, so I went for Will O Wisp here. Just so I didn't risk being faster than his Altaria and basically give him a free return on something. And Rotom Watch goes down, Altaria takes burn damage, and out comes my Medichan. Gonna go for the Ice Punch with Mega Mansion, and at this range, Mega Mansion takes out Ice Punch because Mega Mansion is absolutely beast. Out comes Bit Sharp. I was debating going switching out for, in case Sucker Punch, but I decided, you know what? He might see that and go for Sword Dance, so I might as well go for HJK, but he goes for Sucker Punch and takes it out. Next up comes my Heatran. This spell all lies on whether or not Heatran can survive a knockoff, and it survives a knockoff. Bit Sharp takes Life Orb damage, and Lava Plume will finish it off. So yeah, that was a very good battle, I have to say. Lots of momentum switching between us during it. And Azkaban is a very good battler, so... It, this battle was definitely nerve-wracking. But at least Mega Man Chain's power really showed in this battle, and it is an absolute beast. Pure, raw power right there. But yeah, thank you Azkaban 1 for the battle. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you all for taking your time out of your day to watch this battle. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to see more. Also, don't forget to comment on what your favorite part of this battle was. And I'll see you guys next time for some more... Wi-Fi battles. Stay salty, Rage Squares. Stay salty. So, yeah.